What's going on, YouTube? Had a little bit of a run-in with a police officer last night. Let me explain to you what happened there. I was uh, on my way to work. I didn't have my camera on. I wish I had. Y'all could have seen what was going on here. It's kind of funny. I got pulled over in a 35 mile an hour speed zone for running 35. Well, not really. What happened was, I was coming out of the little community I live in, and uh, it's a 35 mile an hour speed zone now. I've lived pretty well in the same place for the last uh, 38 years, and uh, what happened was, is I was coming down through there, and he heard my motorcycle, and then uh, he seen me drive by, and so, the way my, my neighborhood runs, it's kind of set up in blocks. You got two main two main entrances and exits down through there. And well, I guess you got four entrances and exits. But you got two highways that run parallel to each other down through there. And I say highways, but they're not really highways. They're 35 mile an hour speed zone. Like I said, I live in a little community. But uh, anyway, I was coming down through there and uh, it was a night, you know, so I pull up to the to a stop sign and I and I stop at the end of one of these roads and I look to my right and a, and a truck is coming. Well, I had plenty of time to make it and I said, well, I, I'll wait and uh, let them go on past because there's no sense in you know pulling out like a maniac or nothing like that. Because, like I said, I live in a little little small community, so I, I'm not not going to tend to try to act like crazy coming out of there. So, uh, this truck happens to be a uh, police officer. He kind of pulls up, pulls up across the front of my bike, and then kind of down the side like this, you know, kind of blocks my my path. He rolls down his window, and uh, I see what was going on. So I, I shut off my bike, raise my visor, and uh, and uh, ask him, said, "Hey, how's it going?" He said, "Well," he said, "I want to explain to you." all the way down through here from this stop sign to the stop sign at the other end of the road from here down to there is uh 35 mile an hour and i said yes sir i i, I got that and uh he said well you's coming down through here a pretty good clip i wanted to make sure that uh, you knew the speed speed limit down through here it was 35. and i said well yeah I, i've lived out here for 38 years i, I know what the speed limit is and uh he said, well, you was coming down through here a pretty good clip. And I said, well, I said, well, how fast was I running? I said, because if I was running, you know, an excessive amount of speed, I said, you know, my speedometer's wrong because, you know, I was running. And I wish I'd had my, my camera on. That way I could kind of show you guys what my speed was that uh, last night. Uh, but if you look down at my speedometer right now, I'm running, showing 61. But at 55, my bike is... Uh, my bike registers 60. So right now it's showing 61, so I'm running approximately 56 mile an hour, right, right around in that area. So anyway, whenever I looked down at my speedometer last night when I was running through through there, and, and I won't drive fast because there's a lot of kids out there, even though it's a school night, you know, there's a good chance that there could be kids out there where I live at. It's, it's not the greatest neighborhoods. And I don't want to be responsible for hitting somebody's uh, young, you know, young kid or, you know, period. I, I don't want to, it doesn't matter whose kid it is. I, I just don't want to be responsible for hurting somebody's, somebody's child or a child in general. And, uh, so, and, and not to mention, uh, even though I live in a little community there, there's, there's a lot of, uh, trees and stuff that kind of surround the community. So there's, there's deer that run through there all the time. So, I tend to take it easy through there at night because on either side of one of these highways there's you know trees and stuff like that and you, you couldn't really see a deer if, if it was right there on the side of the road and decided to jump out in front of you. So I like to take it easy through there because I, I you know that's something else I don't want to hit you know tear up my bike hurt me or anything else. So I asked him I said well how, how fast was I running and he said well he said I didn't have my radar on he said but by looking at you you know, uh, you was definitely speeding, and and I said, well, there's, I said, there's no way I was speeding, you know, 
unless my speedometer is way off you know at 35 now I, i've actually had my bike check you know versus a couple cars at at, at 55 and uh they it was actually my truck and my other car and uh and i and i've had them check you know my my vehicles my other two vehicles they've been checked several times by by different uh uh, radar systems so I know that that the speed the speedometers on them are correct so anyway it's 60 mile an hour on this bike you know I'm running 55 so whenever he told me I was speeding I was like eh. I, I told him I said well buddy I, I said if I if I was my, my speedometer's got to be way off you know because like I said I haven't had this check this bike ever checked at 35 so I mean maybe it is off a little bit to the high side you know you know how they can vary uh, well, any of you guys that, that have bikes, you know, you'll know how these bikes can, can change from speed and all that stuff. You know, there's a lot of those uh, uh, speedometer doctors or whatever they're called out there that people put on their bikes. So he said, well, with, with that being said, he said, well, I'm not trying to accuse you of anything. I just kind of want to want to make sure you're aware of the speed limit out here. He said, because by the sound of your bike and by what I saw you know I'm pretty sure you was speeding so anyway I, I just thought it was kind of funny because you know you guys with these bikes they ride them all day long and and all that you know that they're loud you know and you can be running 30 mile an hour 35 mile an hour and you're they just run at high rpms like right now you know i'm running 50 mile an hour and i'm in sixth gear and i'm running about 4,000 rpms it's not that it's the the highest well i'm running about 45 anyway it's not like it's the highest rpm there there is but you know it's it's still still up there you know and i i've got a yoshimura exhaust on my bike so it, it's kind of loud so anyway I, I just wanted to share it with you guys you know i, I do have to say the police officer he was a super nice guy he wasn't trying to be hateful by no means. You know, I think, I don't know if he was really pulling me over because I was speeding or more along the lines of trying to see who I am and maybe see why I'm riding around out there, you know, at uh, 1030 at night, you know. Uh, I have met this officer a few other times and uh, I don't know his name, and if I did, I wouldn't give it out, because like I said, he's a super, super nice guy. Uh, but uh, it, it was just funny that that whenever he pulled me over, you know, he uh, come up to me and says, you know, hey, you, you know, you were speeding down through here. And, and guys, I really wasn't. Uh, like I said, I wish I'd have had my camera on last night so you could have caught the conversation and uh, you would have seen my, uh, my, my uh, speedometer. But the thing is, is I don't run with my GoPro on at night because it doesn't do very well at, at, at nighttime unless, unless maybe you're in a city and it's and it's lit up pretty good. You know, where I'm at, uh, there's not a whole lot of traffic lights or nothing like that. So it doesn't do me any good between home and work to, uh, to even try to do a vlog or anything like that because like I said, it's just not lit up very well. The only light you gets off, off the front end of my bike. So, uh, well, with that being said, you know, it's a possibility that he was just trying to check me out and see who I was. But uh, anyway, guys, I just kind of wanted to share that, throw this little uh, vlog out there and uh, and uh, kind of share a little bit of a story that I had last night. I thought it was pretty uh, pretty funny, you know. Uh, like I said, he he was a super nice guy. He wasn't being uh, hateful or nothing like that. So, so I thought it would be a pretty cool, cool story to put out there. I mean... I don't think he was necessarily trying to give me a ticket or nothing like that, you know, or or anything like that or catch me really doing anything wrong. But uh, anyway, guys, you guys uh, have a great day, and uh, this is Dusty Can Be Crazy, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.